you're absolutely right that we do see high um, incidence of hepatitis C and HIV co-infection. And um, I don't think that we have all the answers as to why this happens. Um, certainly, uh, co-infection rates for HIV and hepatitis C uh, are any, quoted anywhere from 15 to 25 percent. But in some populations, for example, injecting drug users, up to 90 percent of that population can have um, both HIV and hepatitis C co-infection. So it is a huge, huge problem. I think one of the biggest um, reasons for this is probably the shared routes of transmission. So both HIV and hepatitis C are acquired through the exposure of infectious blood, yeah, percutaneously or through mucous membranes. Um, so you can certainly see how the two uh, can travel together. Um, one of the things that's um, most important about this, not, uh, not only is the high prevalence of these two infections, um, together, but also the fact that they seem to work very, uh, um, they seem to work uh, negatively on each other to accelerate the disease uh, course for, for both infections. So HIV exacerbates hepatitis C, and hepatitis C exacerbates HIV. Um, and we don't fully understand why this is, but we, we certainly do see higher rates of liver disease, progression to end-stage liver failure, uh, cancer like hepatocellular carcinoma, and even death in, in patients who have both hepatitis C and, and HIV. So, um, so clearly, this is an important area for um, uh, for uh, an important area for prioritizing both treatment and, and research.